Today is a very special Mother's Day edition of Taste of Tennille. I wanted to take a second to wish all the mums out there a happy Mother's Day, and especially to my mum, who has not only been my biggest supporter throughout my career, but she's also my best friend. Uh, she's the first person I think of when I have good news and I want to talk to someone. She's supported me through everything. And mum, I love you and I can't thank you enough. And today we're going to make some scones with jam and cream, which I know is one of her favorites. She used to make this with me when I was younger. And I even remember we'd go out to like a cafe in the mountains and get tea and scones. And, and even back before that, my grandma made pumpkin scones. So it kind of runs in the family. But I'm really excited to make them today because it brings back good memories. And I hope that you love them just as much as I do. Scones coming right up. I have my oven on 220 Celsius and I have a flat baking tray which I'm going to line with baking paper. And for this recipe, it's so simple. You only need four ingredients. This looks like 10, four ingredients, okay? Oh, FYI, scones in Australia, um, if you haven't had them, you're missing out for starters. But they're also uh, more, they're different than scones in America. They're more like a biscuit consistency, put it that way, but they're sweet. So basically you use a sieve. Oh, uh, I just have this little guy again because I can't find a bigger one here. Um, but basically you sift the three cups of flour and a pinch of salt, which I need to add before I forget. And you make a well in the middle. I'm just using this to push basically like a hole in the middle, okay? Bam. We then add one cup of our thickened cream. This looks like a milk carton, but it's not. And one cup of lemonade into the center, okay? And then we're gonna get a knife and we're going to mix it with a knife. Kind of fold it in though, not just go nuts. Don't do that. Just kind of fold it, fold it, fold it. And you don't want to overwork the dough, just till it's combined. Shout out to my best friend, Kelly, who's also an amazing mom herself. And she recently let me in on this new version of scones, which I never made this way. I've always made it with butter in the ingredients, and this has no butter. And it has lemonade, which I've never had before, but apparently it's the new uh, exciting, maybe not new, I don't know, maybe I'm just old fashioned, but it's the way to make scones these days. Into the center, I'm going to add one cup of thickened cream. Oh my, how good does that look? And I'm also going to add one cup of lemonade. I've gone for the sugar-free lemonade which i actually don't know if it if it makes a difference but i guess i will find out shortly very frothy isn't it this looks a little strange very different than i've done it before but hey if it tastes good i'm in <laughs> it. This next bit can get a little bit messy or sticky, but that's okay. I'm ready. I have just laid out a little flour on the chopping board to kind of help it because it gets a bit sticky basically. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I get excited when I'm cooking, baking. Maybe it's like a nervous excitement, like I hope it turns out good. So I'm gonna empty that out there. It's a bit sticky. Bam. Now what? I've got hair on my lip. How do I do this? All right, I'm gonna end up with flour all over my face. Okay, so you wanna um, basically turn it out into there and just kind of form it into a ball. Remember not to like overwork it. It's come together pretty nicely, but see, it's gonna start getting sticky. Okay. Watch me handle this like a pro. Or we'll pretend like I know what I'm doing. Okay, see it's got a little bit sticky on the bottom there. Um, but basically, you can kind of flatten it out into 
We're gonna need a little more flour. Kind of, you wanna flatten it out until it's kind of in a shape where you can start cutting in to make your scone shapes. And you can use for this, like a cookie cutter, if you have a round cookie cutter, or a glass, which I have. Um, or I wonder if you could just like leave it like this, like a loaf and just kind of cut through and pull apart. Hmm, I may be touching this too much. Okay, so you can use something like this and go like this. Bam. Put that on your baking tray and continue until they're all there. Just kind of stick that bit on there. So as you go, you can kind of just add back in the pieces that you've cut off and continue to make them part of the dough again and keep cutting away until you've used as much as you can. <laughs> Just a little bit messy. <laughs> okay, but they're ready to go in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're a little bit golden on the top. What you can do is you actually brush the tops with a little bit of milk and gives them a tiny bit of a glaze if you like to. I'm going to put them in. I might need to wash my hands first. Here they are, finished product. Ah, always burn myself. They came out looking really good actually. I'm gonna pop them down on here. And I have my jam and cream ready. These are the toppings that I always love on it. I go strawberry jam, double thick cream. It's the only way. And there's a process to this too. In my opinion, it goes strawberry jam, then cream. And if you don't do it that way, we just can't be friends. Oh, that looks so good. See? Wow. Yum. Oh, my hands. Up, chop, chop. That's it. The finished product, got a taste test, of course. <laughs> I have to tell you how it is, right? <laughs> oh yeah, it's all winner. <laughs>